Hello friends, today I would like to show you how I'm bud grafting citrus. Not just citrus but also its relative kumquats. First I tell you about the rootstock. It's a different genus than citrus or its relative kumquat. It's a third relative you see, it, each leaf has three leaflets. It's called Poncirus trifoliata. It's the best, in a way, best rootstock for citrus and kumquat. Why? Well, in a colder, colder climates, citrus can freeze in winter, starting by roots. Poncerus trifoliata is more resistant to freezing than either citrus or kumquat. Another reason, many citruses are huge trees when not grafted on rootstock that would a little bit dwarf it. Conscious trifoliata dwarfs it some, somewhat. There is another one with very uh, decorative bended leaf, uh, bended thorns, not straight like this. It's a relative of contorted kind of Poncerus trifoliata called Poncerus trifoliata flying dragon. That one will dwarf citrus or kumquats even more. A third reason why uh, Poncerus trifoliata is very good for um, rootstock for grafting onto is nematodes. Nematodes are pathe dangerous organisms that live in soil. You cannot see them unless you use microscope. Under microscope, they look like snakes and they attack the roots of citrus and kumquat, but not of Poncerus trifoliata. That is the main reason why, why I'm going to be grafting today on this rootstock. Because where I live, there is lots of nematodes specializing on citrus and kumquat in our soil and uh, this is what I'm gonna graft on it's the most miniature of all the kumquats all the kumquats are called scientific name latin name fortunella this one is fortunella in C it's very decorative. This is the size of a kumquat. It gets yellow and a tiny bit bigger when it's ripe. It's basically skin with seeds. And it's used for bonsais and for adding into preserves the skin. Um, now, I'm going to graft not a twig of this miniature kumquat, but a bud. Citrus and kumquat has a almost invisibly small bud. Here the branch is broken, and so the, that encourages the bud. Do you see the bud right here? That's the bud. I'm gonna cut long sleeve. I'm gonna cut here in a bark, including inner bark, capital letter T, shape, peel one corner, peel another corner, and insert the butt in. Then I'll wrap it with a wax tape that's manufactured for it. This is how it looks, the tape. Then I would cut, make a cut with a knife above it and break it so it'll hang 
not very picturesquely backwards. Why? So that the juices coming from roots keep flowing, but they wouldn't flow on this side. On this side, they would have to go into that butt. Later on, the top will be disconnected. Okay, so I'm going to uh, first of all take away from one section here all the thorns and all the leaves so I can do what I have to do. I'm going to use this tool and then with a very sharp and very clean knife, grafting knife, I will cut the butt, make the leather tee with the fingernails peel it, put it in. Okie dokie, take a look how I'm doing it. Okay, so I'm clipping off these big thorns from rootstock. So, taking the leaves away, and now I'm gonna cut off that butt I talked to you about. Again, I have to. Cut that thorn. Okay, there's a little bit sticking on top that I'll cut off. Now it's perfectly positioned there. All I have to do now is get the wax tape. The reason the wax tape is used is, is because it's so thin and so pliable that once the but starts to growing into tree, it will cut through the tape, it will break through the tape and grow. Yet, being a wax, it stops the evaporation, which is important in healing that wound in merging. Now, to encourage the juices to go into that butt instead of around the butt into the twig, I make a cut here and kind of half break it. 
this doesn't look nice but it helps the twig not to die because the juices go on the other side. On the other side they flow, on this side they don't. And the job is done. So dear friends, until next time, goodbye.